Hey friends, we're going to recreate this beautiful image from scratch. I'm someone who likes to devour content as quickly as possible. I'm gonna make this video short and packed heavy with valuable information. This is a two light setup, one soft light for fill, which is above the product, and then one hard light as my key, which is off the table and to the side. Our backdrops are custom made for around 30 bucks. It's two 4x2 MDF boards from Home Depot, a quart of paint, and the texture is just a joint compound that's been skipped trout. You can check out a YouTube video on that. My only props today are palm leaves, and you can buy these inexpensively on afloral.com. Uh, I'll drop a link below in the comments. My ISO is at 100. There's no need to go any higher and introduce noise when you are in a controlled light setting. Aperture is f14. I want everything in focus. Sometimes I'll go down to f8, but I usually keep it pretty high. Shutter speed is 1 over 250. That's as high as my camera can go. I'm shooting with a Sony a7 III, um, and I'm not using high speed sync, which is another topic. You could use the flash white balance that comes on the camera. Sometimes I find that's a little iffy, so I'll use the gray card. I know I want the scene to be really well lit for this. I'm gonna boom my fill light out above the product, raise it up about four or five feet. This should illuminate everything evenly. I need to leave room for the key light to come in and shine. I'm gonna put that about four to five feet off to the side of the table, and that's gonna create those really crisp shadows. No diffusion for this lighting. This is looking really clean as is, but we can do better. First, I'm adding a bounce card to fill in some of those shadows that you see creeping on the left side of the box. Okay, admittedly, that did not do a ton for this photo, but in general, adding a bounce card is a good way to get light onto the product without having to add a second light in the mix. Second, I'm adding two black foam boards that are creating a streak of light or a spotlight of sorts for the coffee box to sit in. We do this by deleting the light around the product, also called negative fill. There's a lot of great examples of this. People do really creative things all the time, so check out some of that to help get inspired. Third, we're casting shadows onto the background, A, to draw attention to the product, and B, add an element of interest that's relevant to the product. The farther away from the light, the harsher the shadow. You can create different looks by pulling the leaves closer to the light. I leave the modeling light on so I can see exactly where that shadow will hit. All right, friends, use this info to create something dope. As you're leaving, you can check out the free lighting guide here. Uh, I put a link below. There's no like subscription to a newsletter or anything like that. It's totally free. Summarizes everything that we did here today. Super easy to understand. Go check it out. Mm -hmm.